Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I've got a temperature today, 38.8. So I've uh, got a few things to do, so I'm just meeting Dennis up here now. So I thought I'd call up Mercedes dealers and pick this part up I've ordered. Then go over to Dennis's office. Meet Dennis and Mick Whale and Josh for a cuppa. Get us heads around something. Uh, straight in, no messing about. Right. First of all, I want to thank all those people who sent nice messages of support and who subscribed. As, like I said, 41% of you, as of today, are watching two hour plus a day and you're not subscribing so come on get the subscribe button it and uh, let's grow this thing together all right so thank you very much as I just said because by subbing or subscribing whatever you want to call it you'll get your porky fixed straight away right it's fight week It's fight week and Ruiz Joshua too. Now, and I want Ruiz to win and save British boxing. Did I say save British boxing then? Did I? You're too right, I did. Why did I say? Why would I say that? Why would I say I want? Uh, I want Ruiz to win and save British boxing. Well, I'll tell you why. And I had a bit of back and forth with uh, Nick Manners on Facebook about this. Uh, simple reason. Nick Manners, he's, uh, he helps, he's with Sean O'Hagan and the train Josh Wannington. Now, they know how to play the game, don't they? They play the game a bit better than me, don't they? Because I'm a bull in a china shop, aren't I? You know, I wear my hat on my sleeve if there's something I don't like. You know, there's all Elbrecht's loose. You know, I don't go if there's something I don't like. Something not right. I'm not playing ball, I'll take my ball home. And, uh, that's just how I am. It's just, did not make it sound perfect, does it? But, it's just how I am now. I feel bloody awful today, honestly, awful. Now, as I've just said to you there, Anthony Joshua, all these people in, in the in boxing industry, they keep saying that AJ is good for British boxing. But they don't mean that really, do they? Why don't they mean that? Why? What am I saying there, eh? I can pick that up, can't they, Mercedes? Prices they charge. Now what am I saying there? Right? What what am I saying? Right. Now let me just go through a little f few things, but and I'll build up to it, and then you can look at these statistics here, and you can tell me what you think. Right? Because this 12 pages that I've done here is groundbreaking, in my opinion. So, right here goes. I always revert this back to Carl Froch as a yardstick. Right? Now, I know what Carl Froch paid the guys on the undercard at Wembley in May 2014. I know what purse money he paid for the November 2013 Froch Groves 1. I know about the Kessler rematch 2013 May. Now, I know about all that because Carl owned the show if you're on a pay-per-view you own the show so you pay everybody's purse now they say joshua's getting 66 million pound now one percent of that is 660 grand tom little's not on 0.1 percent 0.1 percent 
0.1% of Joshua's purse is £66,000. 0.1%. Tom Little's not on sixty-six grand. I'm not going to say what he's on, but <laughs> he's on nowhere near that. So how is Anthony Joshua good for British boxing? How? Anthony Joshua is good for Anthony Joshua. It's time you people realise this. Nick Manners. I don't know why you're coming out with that on, on Facebook, Nick. This is how I look at it, Nick, right? You've been around the boxing scene a lot longer than me. And I like you. I like you a lot. I respect you. You've been in with Carl Zaggy. But you've been around the game a, long, a lot longer than me. You know how to play the game a little bit better than old Porky, don't you? Whereas I'll just flip me lid. You see, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need it for money. I don't need it to get by. As long as I've got a few quid in my pocket and a nice car. Clothes on my back and my chain, I'm happy. I haven't really wanted much in my life. As long as I'm not in jail, every day is a Saturday night to me. But let me tell you this. All these people, all these managers, all these trainers, all these small all promoters, they all know the game. They all know what game this is. It's money, isn't it? And they're not going to rock the boat. For instance, Opie Price is on, isn't he? Coldwell's fighter. He's on undercard. When I heard what he were getting, I nearly collapsed. But Dave Coldwell's not going to say anything, is he? Why not? Because he knows he ain't got nowhere else to go, has he? He can't go work with Frank Warren, can he? <laughs> no way. Can't go do it. He's made his bed with Eddie Earn. He's got a lie in it now, hasn't he? So, all these people, the snooker, aren't they? Oh, yes, men. Yes, men. I'm not saying Nick Manners is a yes man, but, but he seems to think that Anthony Joshua beating Ruiz is good for British boxing. How is that possible? Joshua's not fought for over a year in England. And if he fights in England in his next fight, it's going to be June. That'll be 21 months since he fought in England. If he fights in June in England, it'll be 21 months. So Joshua's not even fighting in England. He fought in New York and Saudi. And they reckon they're going back to Saudi again. So don't tell me that Anthony Joshua is all for British boxing. Don't tell me Tyson Fury is. He's not fought since August 2018 in British boxing. These people are good for what they are. Tyson Fury thinks for af looks after Tyson Fury. Joshua looks after Joshua. So don't tell me that these people are good for British boxing because I'm not having it. I'm not having it at all. Now, what are you doing, mate? Now since, now since then we've had 10 pay-per-views since the, since the Frotch Groves. Since Frotch Groves rematch at Wembley, Anthony Joshua's took the pay-per-view mantle on. He's had 10 pay-per-views. Now... From the Dillian White of the O2 to Andy Ruiz in Saudi. Ten pay-per-views. Two of them have not even been in England. Two of them not in England at all. Now, out of them ten pay-per-views, Joshua has beaten four world champions. Former, current and current and future. I don't even think there's any future ones to be honest, but... And they are Charlie Martin, the worst ever champion, according to Ring Magazine. He's the worst guy to ever own a, a, an heavyweight title. Charlie Martin is the pits. He's the he's the dog poo of heavyweight boxing. How on earth that man ended up with a belt, I don't know. Uh, 
He's never been a champion, never been highly regarded. He's highly regarded as the worst ever champion ever. Forget what Johnny Nelson said about he punches like Michael Moore and Jerry Cooney. What is Johnny Nelson on? Johnny Nelson says a lot of things, but you're way off mark there. Now, number two, Vladimir Klitschko. So, that's his first champion beat, Charlie Martin, a gift. Number two, Vladimir Klitschko, 18 month on settee, Tyson Fury took him to school. Took him to school! After a schooling by Fury, and in his 42nd year, he retired. But he had a life and death with Joshua. The man himself, Sir Edward, actually sold out Wembley to you all for this fight. I mean, 69th fight, 369 rounds. When you've done 369 rounds and you're in your 42nd year and it's your 69th fight, it means you've had it, doesn't it, really? It means you're 300,000 mile on clock in your Ford Cortina, doesn't it? You know, engines tapping its whatever off. You know, it's... Uh, in boxing terms, it means shot worn 369 rounds, and Vladimir as well has been knocked out four times, only five times, whatever. Now, Joshua had the title over three years. He's 30 year old. The, the Ruiz rematch is his ninth world title fight on the chart, but he's had 10 pay per view because the Dillian White fight for a British title were a pay per view. <laughs> Why that is, I don't know. Because they had intense beef in amateurs, do me a favour. Now, the third champion that he beat is Parker, with a hometown ref, just like the Tackham fight. But Tackham won a world champion. So, Parker, that's where the numbers started dwindling. The fourth champion beat were Povetkin, and he was only really a regular champion, wasn't he? So, but he's just gone 12 rounds with Yui Fury. But Povetkin were in his 40th year. Now, when you're in your 40th year, it means you, you, you've had it, doesn't it? Ali were in his 38th year when he fought Larry Holmes. So, Povetkin's in his 40th year when he fought Joshua. So, so all this from start to finish, in my opinion, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. For the simple reason, it is all pre-planned from AJ starting up at the EIS to Rob McCracken standing up for him at court when he got done for assault and drug dealing, and all the way through the Olympics, it's all pre-planned. They've, they've tried to create a Frank Bruno, haven't they? Yeah, he's beat four champions, but let's have it right. Two of them were were old men. One of them. The ref helped him, Parker, and the other one was, according to Ring Magazine, the worst ever heavyweight champion of the world. The worst ever. I mean, he got the belt by default. A vacant belt, a vacant belt, and he won it because the other guy fell over and did his knee. You don't get any luckier than that, does it? But if you say anything, you're a hater. Oh, you're a scumbag for saying that, Ross. You're a hater. You're bitter, you're jealous, you're trying to be controversial. You're not Team AJ. No, I'm not Team AJ. I hope Joshua gets knocked out. And Nick Manners was saying, oh, you can't say that, that's bad and all that. Why can't I? When Joshua were beating them journeymen up, he were doing that, one not <laughs> When he were beating journeymen up, he were laughing and sticking his tongue out. So, I hope Ruiz bashes him up bashes him, knocks him out, punches him upside down and I hope he gets home safe to his family but I want Andy Ruiz to knock him out I want Ruiz to knock him out like he did before and the pe all these people were saying it's good for British boxing look, statistics here I've got all the statistics what Joshua's paid all his, all people, nearly all of them from all opponents to British kids on undercard. And you know what? It's all lies. All been lied to. <clears throat> 0.1% of Joshua's purse is 66 grand. 
Tom Little's on nowhere near that. And he's just in a camp with him. So what does that tell you? But Tom Little's not going to say a word, is he? Because at this stage of game, when you're 10 and 7, anything will do, won't it? So, and I like Tom Little. He's got that likableness about him. We're told AJ is good for British boxing, but he's been manufactured. Yeah, he's got muscles. Yeah, he says all the right things. It's a fight. It's a fight. Be humble. Stay humble. Stay hungry. Says all the right things. Does all the right things. But, you know, deep, deep, deep down, not really like that. Not really like that. And not like that at all, but you all fell for it, aren't you? He manufactured. Says all the right things, does all the right things. He's got a machine around him. He's got a machine around him. Has he got a missus? Where's his missus? Has he got a fella? We don't know. Have you ever seen him with a missus? No, he's not allowed, is he? He's not even allowed to have a girlfriend. Because they want to keep the allure of... Is he or isn't he? Is he gay or isn't he gay? You want to keep that, keep you guessing, so they get more pay-per-views. That's all it is, because sex sells, doesn't it? When you've got Dave Allen putting a pair of socks down his underpants, again, 14 million views. Little things like that sell, don't they? That's all it is. People, pat me on back for these videos, but please don't. In fact, you should say on social media what you say to me on the phone. So all them with boxing border control licences who, who sound me out, please don't do it. Please don't. Don't. As it's not what you say on, on your Twitter or your Facebook. You know what I mean? I know what people in boxing industry say to me. They ring me up and they say stuff and I go, well, why don't you say that on your Twitter? Why don't you say that on your Twitter? Well, I can't, can I? Why can't you? Why? Why not? Freedom of speech. Why not? I'll tell you why not, shall I? Because they all want to get to the Joshua Bounty down the line, but there ain't no bounty, is there? Where's the bounty? Where's the bounty here? There isn't no bounty. There ain't no bounty at all. Because you all... On radio, TV, Sky, YouTube, saying AJ wins easily. AJ is the saviour of British boxing. When AJ wins, again, British boxing will be booming again. British boxing isn't booming. Before AJ lost to Ruiz, British boxing were on slide anyway then. They were on slide. And what evidence have you got that British boxing's booming what? That Warren show in Birmingham overnight. Good show. Dennis Hobson's show in Sheffield last week. Good show, but does it mean British boxing's booming? No. Yeah, Joshua, it's nice that he had four belts, but it doesn't mean to say it's booming. It's booming for Anthony Joshua and Eddie Earn. It's not booming for anybody else. Like I said, go and look at the purse money for Saudi. Go and look at what them kids are getting. Go and look at what they're getting on that show. And then come back to me and tell me a British boxing's booming. Joshua versus Povetkin at Wembley. What? AJ was last... Was AJ last UK fight. And the show was as follows. Five fights. Givisoff, Laguna, Kuzmin against David Price... Asking against Akoli, stinking out the borough of Brent around London. Which, since then, Lawrence the Source Akoli has had four fights and has not even been chief support. Which tells you something, doesn't it? The man don't sell any tickets. TV don't want Lawrence Akoli. But yet he's on Sky pay-per-view at Wembley. In Joshua's last fight, 2018, in UK, the big saviour of British boxing, the man getting 66 million to fight in Saudi, while Tom Little doesn't even get 0.1% of that. Tom Little should stand up for him and said, you know what, I'm not even getting 0.1% of 
or what you're what you're getting. I mean, how can that man even do a training camp with him knowing what he's getting? So if that's good for UK boxing, I'm a Chinaman. I'm a Chinaman if that's good for UK boxing. Luke Campbell beating Mendy on points. It's last Joshua, chief support. Let me just read that again. The so-called British boxing booming. Luke Campbell beat Mendy. And that was chief support. Why is that? Luke Campbell's his mate, they've got him on cheap. So we all know now it's about money and a cash grab. All that crap about I am I'm staying here for fans, etc. It's all rubbish. They put it up a fiver. It's a fight. We're not going abroad. We're going to stay in UK. Fuck fans. Joshua's words, September 2018. December 2019, and it's his second fight outside England, New York, and then Saudi. British boxing's booming, though, and it's great for British boxing, you keep telling me. Look, like I keep telling you people, Anthony Joshua looks after Anthony Joshua, doesn't he? Journalists now email me and ring me. They say I'm crackers. They say I'm fearless. They say I'm daft. They say I'm smart. They say I'm brainy. They say I've heard you've got an IIQ, which I have. They say we also know you can't even change a tyre on a car, which I can't. They say you're a breath of fresh air, Russell. Others say other things. So, I just tell them, look, pull your tongue out, my. Because dogs do that, you're not a dog, are you? You know, grow a pair. Look, it is what it is, isn't it? The old AJ experiment will come to an end Saturday. He knows it, Ern knows it, Sky know it. That's why they're all partying on lemonade in Saudi. <laughs> they're in Saudi drinking lemonade, eh? Why is that? I'll tell you why that is, shall I? Because they want to get as much money as they can. When a man is on 66 million sterling and he's got men in camp with him and on less than 0.1% of that and we have people telling me it was good for British boxing, it's a total joke. Kevin Mitchell purse on Frotch versus Groves at Wembley. A lot more than Tom Little's this weekend, tomorrow, and that was five and a half year ago. But look at the money on offer in Saudi, but the money's not trickling down to poor old Tom Little, is it? Hey, two seconds. Thirty one quid for a number plate frame. Unbelievable. The Frotch Groves Wembley undercard reads as follows Seven fights for starters, not five like Pavetkin's Wembley card. So Frotch Groves at Wembley had seven fights. Gamal Yafai. 1 and 0, Martin J. Ward, 9 and 0, Joshua, what are you about 5, 6 and 0, Olympic gold, Jamie McDonald, WBA regular world title, James DeGale, 18 and 1 Olympic gold, Kevin Mitchell, and then you've got Frotch Groves, that's a better card than the Saudi one, that's two fights less, and they're all on chicken feed, all of them on chicken feed, do you know what I mean, and people tell me Carl Frotch is tight. Frotch owned the card, he pays everything on the night. If you own, you own the pay-per-view, if you're the champion, it's your pay-per-view. Frotch owned the card, he pays everything, but last Wembley show was pure poo. So Wern did a runner to New York. That Pavetkin was shocking, wasn't it? 
the cash while spouting about profile. So I'm just 